Hey, sorry for the long video, but this has a this song has a lot of story in it, a lot of imagery. I had to break down at the end. So if you want to hear about it, stick around. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris Old back again for another music video reaction. This time for Sunny Hills Midnight Circus. I haven't heard um, anything from them before. I've had a lot of requests for this and uh, for a long time actually. And I just haven't got around to it. So finally I am. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to check it out. First time I've ever heard of Sunny Hill. I did some studying. I kind of know their names, but I'm not positive yet so don't hate me if I mess it up <laughs> Cheers. The imagery in here is pretty interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of uh, a lot of things telling stories in here. The song's pretty cool. It's got a It's got like a weird beat to it, but it's pretty good. That guy, I think that young, or huh. oh, there's something going on here. Definitely have to watch this again to peel it apart. Thank you. 
It's like really filmed well. I'm really liking the way this was filmed. They sucked all the color out of it. Kind of giving it that old feel plus almost like depressing in a way. Plus a lot of the imagery when they're in the actual circus part. They look depressed, so that's what kind of adds to the how they filmed it. So that's Huh. Huh. Alright, here's the breakdown of this song, the uh, Midnight Circus song. Um, there's a lot to say here, and I, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm rambling, uh, but when I get to the point, I'll let you know, so you'll be warned when I start listing stuff off as far as what the imagery, imagery meant. Imagery, yeah. Um, first of all, I want to talk about the lyrics, though. The lyrics kind of were just very kind of vague. They didn't pinpoint exactly what they were talking about, but you could tell through the uh, lyrics. It was, it was a person that was unhappy with what they were doing or where they were in life and the depression they were going through from that situation. You know, there was nothing, you know, that really pinpointed as to what they were talking about, but the actual situation uh, was making them depressed and unhappy, and that's what the song was pretty much about. Now, moving forward into that into the video, it really uh, plays well with the story of the video, what the song was about, but I don't think they, you know, I don't think the MV meaning and then the song meant the same thing. I just think, you know, it was a song about being kind of unhappy and depressed with where you were. And But like I said, it does fit the video. What the video, now here's where I'm going to start talking about certain imagery and, and stuff like that. So it may sound kind of jumbled together, but I tried to figure out how to speak about it the right way. So sorry if it doesn't sound right how I'm talking about it. But from what I gathered, I watched this video like five or six times, you know, trying to decipher everything in there and what the imagery meant. Um, and what I gathered from it was this is kind of a overall um, uh, kind of talking about the nasty side of Korean uh, music production companies. And not all of them are like this, but I'm just saying there's uh, nightmare stories coming out of some of the production companies, companies sometimes. And uh, this is kind of addressing that. You know, and I'm going to start from the beginning with this video. What, <clears throat> what, you know, when it started out and you saw that old guy walk into his house or whatever that was supposed to be, and you saw him with his accordion sitting at that chair, and he was really intent trying to remember a song to, you know, and he was trying to play it. And he looked, you could tell in his eyes, he was looking, trying to look back in his life and trying to remember this song. And, um, uh, you saw him, he closed his eyes, and it brought him to the circus uh, and everything that was going on there. And then he was kind of there. And then he was trying, he was starting to remember it more and more, and he started playing it again. He closed his eyes again, and then boom, he was there. Okay? But he was back there as his young former self. You know, he, uh, through the rest of the video, you do see him, but he's that young kid with kind of the grayish hair and he's carrying the accordion around that's him and he represents the fans of this group that this video is portraying okay then you had you know while you saw him get beamed into the circus in his mind um, you saw the girls backstage okay the behind the scenes if you will kind of uh, feelings that they're feeling and, and one of them's like caged she, you know, she feels trapped the other one's actually uh, strapped to a board while other people are playing instruments uh, constantly you know, dancing around her and I think that's supposed to represent you know, the constant practice you know, they feel chained down 
to practicing all the time and that's all that their life consists of and uh you know the other one's on a swing just kind of aimlessly swinging back and forth looking depressed not happy she's just you know looks bummed out and just kind of there you know not in spirit but just as a body and uh the other girl was uh just staring into the mirror you know probably trying to you know dream of what life would be if this she hadn't chose this path okay that's what i gathered from all those scenes uh you know and then you had the uh, J uh what's his name jang hyun or jang hyun i think it's jang hyun jang hyun is the male member of this group okay but in this video he played like the um entertainment company or production company lead uh president uh or whatever you want to call it um and he was like in the in the video he was like a puppeteer okay he was a puppeteer literally in some cases he was up above them as a puppeteer you know uh guiding their every single movement if you will and then uh there's the one scene with uh the girl's name starts with s sung sung ya or something like that she was looking in the mirror and she was singing okay but you saw him lipping you know the words so kind of like what i took from that was he was lipping the words he wanted her to sing in her ears and then she would sing it okay like she doesn't have control over what songs they sing all right and so she was out you know singing what she was being told to sing okay and then there was other things like you know cracking the whip and just being there overseeing every move and, and and thing they did you know throughout the music video then also there was the the imagery just random imagery of a white horse and i knew that had to mean something okay so you know because it was just too random there was times that it would just you just see the horse and i was like okay that has to mean something okay and so i went I went on the internet like looking up all kinds of different meanings of white horses and a lot of them were like um, have to do with you know God or uh, ultra strong kind of you know godly type figure um, and then I thought well maybe that's what it means like he maybe he feels godlike but then there was another one too that was had to do with progress through hard work okay so I'm not sure I'm I'm between those two i don't know if the horse was supposed to represent he feels godlike you know in what he does and he feels like a god or if it's just he's putting these girls through so much hard work to progress his company that that's what that heart you know that horse was supposed to represent so i there's those two meanings i don't know which one it actually means or if it means either of them i don't know um but then also okay you've seen them all bummed out and stuff behind the stage but then once they got up on stage the stage was supposed to represent kind of like a Inkigayo or a Music Core or M Countdown because if you notice in the back there's all those mirrors and actual actual TV sets too. Um, and then up in front of the stage there was these lamps that looked like it was a living room. So the mirrors are supposed to represent everybody at home watching through the TV screen. That's what the mirrors are supposed to represent, okay? That's what I think. Same with the TVs and then the lamps up front you know of this of the set or in front of the stage like i said they look like regular living room lamps you know so people you just imagine sitting in your living room watching the stage and on the stage they were wearing kind of like regular everyday kind of like clothes you would see on a stage you know and when they were off stage they were wearing like circus type clothes or you know time period you know type circus clothes but when they're up on stage or in regular, you know, dance clothes and they were smiling sometimes and stuff like that. But also their choreo in there was very puppeteerish like, you know, like they were being, you know, controlled. OK, so, you know, when they're on stage, they put on this persona of what they were and smiled. But then once they were off stage, they were sad and everything like that. So and then there was the part towards the end when you saw like the stage hands lifting them up with the ropes and he was looking at up at them looking sad and, and had tears in his eyes and you know that was to kind of tell you that he knew that their time was coming to an end and 
when their time comes to the end, they pretty much just get cut down and released and that's it. And their life, everything they lived for and worked for so hard, will just be over in a second, you know, and he knows this and he knows they're coming to an end. And he's sad because that means not only them, but probably everyone that works for them, you know, behind the scenes is going to get chopped too. And then it is a strong reality. You see, you know, uh, the, the puppeteer guy cut them all off and they fall and they all disintegrate. Everybody disintegrates in that circus. Circus. Everyone disintegrates besides him, the puppeteer, and the fan who's holding the accordion. So the fan remembers, okay? It's in the back of the, you know, it's the fan's memory. And then you, everything disappears. Then you start seeing the lights start flickering and fading out. You see the tents falling down. It means the, the disintegration of everything that they built up is starting to come apart because they finally cut them loose and said, that's all we needed you for. And then you see the puppeteer, the flame in his hand, just disintegrate and disappear. And everything's gone. Then you go back to where the fan was, and there's just an empty seat. He's not there anymore. I don't know if that's supposed to represent he's he's dead or if it's just supposed to represent after time they'll just all fade out of the fan's memory you know and he finally can't remember the songs anymore you know and all that's left of them is when they scan up is those pictures which are supposed to represent like kind of like posters of your you know of that group but back then it would be like pictures and that's all that's left of that because everything else is faded out of everybody's memory. So they pretty much are saying, after all that hard work and everything that they did, and then they got cut loose, all that's really left is those pictures. So they pretty much went through hell for really nothing. So that's what I gathered from it. It was a really, really deep video. Once you watch it and understand what's going on, it's really freaking deep. It really is. The song, the song itself is, you know, it was good. It was good. It wasn't one of my favorite songs, you know, I've ever heard, but it was good. It's uh, definitely had a, a kind of, you know, some somewhat of a general beat at times and then some really kind of weird, odd beats in there which were cool, you know, and everything. And then the, the vocals were good, too. It's just, overall, the song was the song was pretty good, okay? Uh, like I said, I wouldn't consider it one of my favorites. But the music video really was deep, and that's what I really liked about this. Um, told a good story. Um, you had to dig it out a little bit sometimes, but once you did and you peeled back all them layers, it was like, wow, you know, that was... That, that, that said a lot of shit in there, so... But, um... Anyways, let me know what you thought of this down below. Uh, and also, if you like this video, please hit like and, and please share. Sharing helps me out and sharing helps this video out. Also, if you have any requests, please hit this request box over here. It helps me out a lot. And I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Peace. Did you guys enjoy that? I hope you did. I had a fun time making them. Anyways, I got more videos down here and my subscribe button up there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. I'm a good guy. Come hang out. Good times. K-pop. K-pop for everybody. Yeah, I don't know what that